Hi, welcome to the Daily Doodle. Okay, today I'm just doing a quick sketch of a sugar pot. Looking down upon the sugar pot. If this is your first time, then um, please pick up a pencil or a pen and just sketch away. Choose your own sugar pot or have a go at this one. Um, just doing a quick one point perspective view. Obviously you're supposed to start with this rectangle at the front that I've just decided to shade in. Um, just to remind you that if you're doing a sugar pot, like how much you see off the top depends on on where your line of vision is. So obviously if you're close enough so that you can see on the top, then the horizon line is quite a lot higher and, um, and you should see that. Bottom of a sugar pot is always round. It's a common mistake. And if it was square, obviously you'd see the side, so you have to imagine that you're seeing the side around here. It'd be quite full bit so you can focus. Once you're happy with um, the shape of your drawing, then you can start adding the shade. So you can do directional shading or you can shade in more or less all the same direction. In this instance I'm shading almost all the same direction. Um, apart from when I also make it a bit dark and then I kind of hatch against that. I'm using a 2B pencil and quite a grainy sketch paper actually. Probably not the best for quick sketches but it's okay. If you move um, your pencil in small strokes, so you go back and forth, like not so that it covers the entire pot, but small, you can build up the tone and form quite gradually. Okay, here I'm starting to put in the base, making it nice and round. Right. Eventually I'm going to put in some shadow where the actual surface is because you want to give an object something to sit on. Um, and I'm starting to do a little bit more directional shading, so instead of being in the same direction as I did the round bit, I'm kind of taking more of a vertical line, leaving some areas white. Now I'm going to start knocking in that table shadow so that the pot is actually sat on something. And that's quite important.
taking care to go over areas that I feel should be darker. Again, I haven't changed direction in those areas. So following those lines. Okay, there's Alice there. Just reminding myself of the general shape. Beautiful wonky verticals, as only I could ever do, I'm sure. And that's how that pop would fit under that horizon line. I'm really not very happy with that. I think for a first doodle it's kind of okay. Five minutes of my life, five minutes of yours. Doodle a day. Really will improve your drawing skills. Thank you.